In this tutorial, we will discuss on how to create network diagram in QGIS. To do that, first of all, we have to download the data from GeoPortal. In, in this project, we will use OpenStreetMap because it's free and it's regularly updated. Go to your browser, search for OpenStreetMap. When it comes, just search the place you want to work with. Then within the screen, adjust your site location. That means your site is within the screen. Now go to the layer panel, search for transport map. Or cyclo SM. Cyclo SM is more useful because here you will get all kind of all kind of roads. Then go to the then go to the export. Export it. Save the file in your desktop or in your folder. Save it now. Go to your QGS. First of all, upload the add the data. Go to add vector layer. Go to the file. Find the file. Open add vector. Now files are there now lo look your networks are tilted just go to the here and select the UTM zone 32 n or it's suitable for Hamburg now it's selected now we will add our site here to add our site just go to the again add back to layer go to directory three button here then add the site wherever it is it's my site so this is my site actually this is the Okay, make it just outline. And we'll just keep the road networks and we'll delete other things. No points. These points are not necessary. Uh, this image not. We'll just keep the network lines these two layers just delete other layers then now we'll now we'll clip this site and we'll delete other things to clip go to vector geo processing tool clip select the main network yes and select the overlay overlay layer overlay layer is your site then just run close now delete your here is two layer now only network full network and one is only for your site it's clipped just delete the other one Now this layer is not permanent, make it permanent, click on it, make it permanent, there is a symbol it's saying it's not permanent yet, 
give a file name say save it in your local drive give the name give a random name Rename the layer, it will be helpful for you to find out. Now, see all kind of network uh, is same color and same line, lining. We'll change it. Just go to the circulation network, right click, right click, go properties, go categorized, and for value, choose the highway. How I am choosing? Let me show it again. When you click on the your layer, open attribute table. In the attribute table, you will see in the highway you have every kind of circulation network in the highway category. So this category we will choose for our categorization highway list. Right click properties categorized. go to the value select highway then click on classify they classified themselves and I'm just giving something choosing some of them just double click and group a proper value thus it will be visible in the map Almost a bit mean point five. Actually, I am giving the value. I am not sure which value should be taken. When you see the map, you will get the proper decision. I'm just make it visible now. I don't know about this thing, so I am not making any change of them. Then just apply. Okay. Voila. Now you think. I know this road network is more important so it should be more um, thickness it should get and it should get less thickness now go to the properties again keep the secondary width of 2 and the uh, residential the width of Just middle figure. Okay, now I think it's more visible now. Okay, now we'll print it. Now we will print it. To print that, just go to the project, new print layout, give it a, any layout name. Circulation network. Or you can use previous layer. Layer. Item. Go to add item. Add map. Your map is here. Make this the
now in my page here now add the legend see the legend and this is here Now we will delete the unnecessary layer for P2 square size which is not necessary and go to the item and go to the recent item stop the auto item auto update set P2 site minus ok now it is the only necessary items here now you can organize your mm, map and uh, print layout as you wish we have another tutorial for that you can check it thank you so much